So that was your brother, and you will have questions over his departure. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to tell you he's here, and he was waving to me on the other side trying to get my attention and tell me what had happened. And I'm going to be very honest with you. This is really tough because when I'm connecting with him, he's right away telling me that he was having many issues with his emotions here in this world. Mm -hmm. When I'm connecting with him, before we talk about anything, about, about addictions, about anything that happened with him, we first of all have to talk about what happened beforehand. Because right away when I'm connecting with his soul, because souls will tell me everything, he tells me that he was having major issues with anxiety here in this world when I'm connecting with him. He keeps saying to me, Matt, anxiety, depression, anxiety, depression. And he keeps telling me when I'm connecting with him that he was also on different medications here in this world or trying different medications. Do you yep. understand that? Yes. But he keeps yelling to me on the other side, telling me, Matt, tell my family nothing was working for me. Nothing was working for me. And he shows me that the doctor that he was seeing or whoever was prescribing this was thinking about changing his medication or changing the dosage. And they were also putting him on. Now, I'm going to call it experimental medication. OK, mm -hmm. but these are like new medications or new pills that hit the market. Is that true? Yes. Yes. Because he's bringing that up when I'm connecting. And I have to be honest with you, that's where we need to start. Because when I'm connecting with your brother, OK, mm -hmm. I got to be honest with you. He says to me, Matt. He says, I did take my life here in the physical world. But he says to me, I didn't mean to do it. That's what he's bringing up. He said to me, here in this world, he says, I didn't understand what I was actually doing. And, the, and he tells me that he had a really hard time understanding the consequences of his actions here in this world. He says, my mind used to drive me crazy here in this world when I'm connecting with him. And I have to be honest with you, he's also telling me that I feel like there was an underlying condition that he was dealing with. So do you know if he had either bipolar or there was some type of mental? Mm -hmm. He just told us he had bipolar. He what? He had just told us. Oh, so he just came, came clean to you and told you about him having yeah, bipolar. Yeah, he had just learned. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So please know that that's what he's bringing up. Because when I'm connecting with him, okay, this is what's crazy as a medium. When I talk to your loved ones on the other side, sometimes things don't always make sense to me. So when I'm connecting with his soul, he's showing me different thoughts in his head that were not real, that were made up. So in other words, he would think, and I'm just making this up right now, but he's just, like, here's some examples. He would think that you were mad at him or you upset with him, I but you weren't. I was mad at him. Yeah. Okay. No. He, would think that, he would think that at the time, right, that somebody was making fun of him or someone was teasing him, but, he, mm -hmm. but they weren't. Do you understand what I'm telling yeah. you? Yeah. Yes. Because he's telling me, he's... Mm, Jesus Christ, the next thing you know, someone's gonna be talking to me. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what's so funny? They told me, don't worry about it. Listen, I'm, I'm young, thank God. I'm only 31. <laughs> you can't take me out that quick. <laughs> but, <laughs> could you imagine? Psychic Force on stage didn't see it coming. That's gonna be the headline tomorrow. <laughs> uh -huh. It's all your brother's fault because he could have warned me about yeah. that, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> But no, one of the things is this, all right, is that when I'm connecting, first of all, he tells me this. He says, Matt, he says, I want them to know that I was having issues with my own family here in this world, with my mm -hmm. friends. He says, and what was so hard is that he had such a hard time seeing reality and understanding reality. He shows me when I'm connecting that you would literally go and try to talk to him for hours and hours and hours. He shows me these panic attacks where all of you would go and like sit him down and talk to him and have these interventions. He says, and Matt, my family was not the issue, but I made them the issue. And that, that's what was so tough. So first of all, can you pass that microphone to your mom really quick? And we're going to, hold on, because there's a lot that he's got to say. And first of all, I got to tell you something. Right away when I'm connecting with your son, he's saying to me, Matt, my mom has such survivor's guilt here in this world. He says, because what was so tough is that you were so afraid of something happening to him. And he yes. says to me that you feel like this was totally preventable. Yes. Your son says to me, Matt, there was nothing else that my mom could have done for me. He shows me that you took him under, under your wing, and he shows me that you were so protective of him here in this world. And yes. he says to me, Matt, please let her know. He says that on the other side, he says every day that I think about her, he says, I wish that I could come back and make things right. But he just said to me, Matt, you're my only hope. I need to use you to do that tonight. <laughs> so first of all, please know that now that your son is on the other side, nothing can touch him. Bipolar, anxiety, mental illness, whatever it is cannot touch him. And when he's coming through right now, he is not the person that you saw before he left this world. Because what was so tough is that he was really struggling with his identity, he shows me, before he left.
Yes. Understanding who he was, understanding what was going on with him, all of these things. And he says to me, Matt, he says, my mind would go a million miles an hour. He says, and all I would do was try to make it stop. He shows me when I'm connecting with him that when he died, he actually tells me he was trying to calm himself down. That's what he shows me. So he said, I said, well, what did you think was going to happen? And he keeps telling me, well, I just thought I was going to take these things. I was going to go to sleep and then I was going to be fine. Do yes. you understand that? Yes. So did you find him? Or was he going to bed at the time? Do you know? He wasn't with us, but he, they found him when he went to bed. That's that, correct. That's what I'm talking about. Yes. So you understand about him going to bed and then passing. Yes. He says to me, because I saw, I saw the vision of somebody trying to wake him up, but he was already gone. Correct. So know that what I have to tell you is he tells me he was not expecting to die that day. He did not want to take his life. This was not something that was planned. It was something that he just thought, listen, I don't care. He didn't think about the consequences. He says, I'm going to take this. It's going to stop whatever's going on in my head, and that's it. And unfortunately, it caused his passing. Yes. So know that your son says to me, Matt, I'm coming through for one reason. I have to tell my mom the truth because you have been going down the rabbit hole and he shows me you going and like checking his phone and like trying to get into his computer and like doing all these things trying yes. to figure out, yes, he can see you. Yeah. Remember, they can see everything that you do. <laughs> well, he's going to be real pissed because I read his journals. <laughs> <laughs> and know that he said to me, listen, when things didn't make sense in those journals and you're like, oh my God, I had no idea he thought this way or I had no idea that this happened and when did that happen and this doesn't make sense, please know it was because of what was going on in his head. And I have to come to you as his sister. Because first of all, do you just say no? I said, um, <laughs> <laughs> Know that one of the things that he's acknowledging is this. When I'm connecting with him from the other side, he says, Matt, can you please ask my sister to please forgive me? Because he shows me that it's been a struggle for you every day since your brother's passing. Because literally, it didn't have to be like this. And he says to me, Matt, do you know my sister was the only one that I was afraid of here in this world, he tells me. He says to me that you were the only one that like, told him the truth. You told it how it was, and like, you didn't give a shit about anything. Yeah. Sure. And he says to me, but Matt, what's so tough is you're angry because you saw he had all the support, that you were all working with him together, right? Mm -hmm. And that he promised you all that something like this would never happen. Yeah. He said to mm -hmm. me, Matt, I'm sorry for lying to her. But please let her know that I wasn't in control of my own emotions. He says, this wasn't my own free will. He says, so the one thing that he doesn't want, okay, right now is this. And this is something that's really tough to hear, but what I have to tell you. He said to me, Matt, my death is ruining my sister's life. Because he tells me that it's caused an issue between you and your mom, because you see your mom upset every day. He tells me that the two of you are like living in this dark cloud. It's like this nightmare from the day that he died. He says, that's why I had to come through and tell you the truth. He says, and it's also the time that I have to say one thing. He says, Matt, I want my mom and my sister to stay really close with one another. He says, don't feel guilty about celebrating the holidays, about going in and enjoying life with one another. He says, because every single day I live through you. And he also tells me that you spent so much time with your son, protecting him, you know, helping him, really trying to put this bubble around him because you knew that he was super sensitive and fragile, right? <laughs> That he says to me, Matt, he says, my mom gave me all of her attention, and now it's time for her to give her attention to my sister because she's been missing you. So know that he tells me this. He says, Matt, please tell my sister that I'm not done with her. Tell her that I've been trying to reach her from the other side, and please let her know that I sent her music. So do you hear songs that remind you of him? Yes. Yeah. Perfect. You know, it's his way of just bringing that through. And also, there's one other thing he's telling me. Did you go, were you going to keep his car, or what happened to his car? Yeah, we have his car, yeah. Because he says to me, you don't know what the hell to do with it. And you're like, maybe I'll take it, maybe yeah. I'll do something. And yeah. he tells me that you actually sat in his car and talked to him in his car. Is that true? Uh, when you're looking through stuff, yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. He says to me, Matt, please let her know I was a part of that conversation. So when you kept that car and you had that conversation with him, know it's his way of bringing that through. Okay. All right, I'm going to leave you with that. Can you come give okay. me a hug? Yeah. I really hope that this helped you. I'll take that with you. Thank you so much for being here. And by the way, hold on. He keeps telling me, did you bring things with, with you of him today? Because yeah. right. he keeps telling me, Matt, they brought things with me. They brought things with me when I went to hug you. Oh, Go ahead. yeah. I, these are his ashes. This is his thumbprint. And then and we this just... This is his egg. And this is his egg. egg. Perfect. No wonder why. Because he said to me, Matt, you don't understand. Before they left the house, they didn't know what the hell to bring, he was yeah. telling me. And they were going through and saying, should we bring his picture? Should we bring this? Should we bring that? So no one you brought that with you. It's his way of letting you know that he saw that from the other side. And he's always a part of you. Thank you. All right, I'm going to leave you with that. Give them a round of applause.